When you began writing uh, your first draft, are you quite detailed with it and you pare down later, or is it the reverse? Do you do a very sparse first draft and then fill in details later? Well, I'm Thomas Mayer. I'm the author of Masters of Sex. So with the book, actually, I wrote about 165 thousand words and I wound up editing about 40,000 words out of it. Uh, so sometimes the editing process is even more difficult than the writing process. Do you share your first draft with someone or do you wait until you're into a second or third? Oh no, I, I show it particularly to my wife Joyce who's the, the best editor I know. Uh, and then I give it to professional editors as well. Uh, and I work as a reporter for Newsday, which is a newspaper in New York. So sometimes I will show it to friends and to other loved ones and such. Right. Do you find yourself um, writing at a specific time? Are you very diligent with your workload in terms of writing? Or do you find yourself procrastinating and then have to... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, we just we lost the step in our feet. I'll start that again. Um, do you have any tricks of getting yourself out of procrastination? Let's suppose you have a certain time that you're writing. Sure. You have certain things you know you're checking Facebook, you're doing certain things that are procrastinating. Right. And how do you work around that? Well, I'm very organized uh, and I write at night, generally speaking. I work by day as, as an investigative reporter for Newsday in New York. So when I come home after dinner, I'll write until about one or two in the morning. Um, I write a very long uh, rep reporting outline that is, for masters, was about 200,000 words. And from that, I, I write. And uh, so I'm pretty organized about that. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't get anything done. Lastly, for new writers, would you recommend that they write something that really resonates with them, whether it's a coming-of-age drama, or should they write for the market for a certain genre that they Well, I don't think you can ever write for the market because you never really know what the market's going to particularly want. I thought, because I have a day job as a, a reporter for Newsday, I wrote what I wanted to write, which is basically about America in the 20th century. So I've written about Masters and Johnson, but I've also written about the Kennedys, the Churchills, I've written about Dr. Spock, the baby doctor, and I also have one, uh, I've written a book about the Newhouse Media Empire, and uh, that hopefully will soon be a, a television series as well. So you would advise a new writer, don't try to conform to what you think Hollywood or uh, the literary world wants. Really go for what your own instincts are. Yeah, the only way you can be true to the reader, I think, is to be true to yourself as a writer. So I think if you, I think a good rule of thumb is if it interests you and you feel really passionate about it, then that's what you should pursue and tell it and first of all, report it out as, as thoroughly as possible, research it as thoroughly as possible, and then write the hell out of it. Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much.